तो गेट वे गेट वे वर्क प्रोसेस यार गेट वे वर्क प्रोसेस मीन्स तो गेट वे गेट वे वर्क प्रोसेस गेट वे सपोज example i will tell you here gateway so normally when you are visiting the apartments or when you are going to the celebrities houses in front of the gate there is a one gateway security right gateway security person so what that person will do when you are trying to go inside of the apartment there is a one gateway security he will do the so nursery checks right nursery checks he will do it then if you are the valid person then he will allow inside of the home right so here the same concept so what is the use of the gateway process here gateway what is the use of the gateway process here so normally what is the use of the gateway security we have the every person every home not the every home maybe some homes we have the gateway security person is there in the gate in front of the gate there is a security person so what is the use of him anyone can jump in here what is the use of the security gateway security why we need is this that person in front of the gate our gate because to avoid the robbery or thieves we not to allow the thieves to enter <clears throat> inside our premises on premises thieves means yeah. unauthorized persons right unauthorized yes, persons so i mean to say in our, in our language unauthorized persons so same way in the sap system also so if any connection if any hacker connection so why because normally in the any hacker connection any abnormal connection any unwanted connection any un unwanted connection which are coming to the system sap system then your gateway work process will reject that connection gateway work process will reject connection why because so sap is not only providing the for business not only not only providing the sap system for business for securing not only providing the data like oh, okay you can use my product for so your business use case and everything can use my product like that so they are providing the they are also provided the security also security like right? if you store my business data if you store my product your your business will be secured your business data will be secured and also unauthorized person who are the not authorized unauthorized person means it will protect the data from the unauthorized person that's why the security also very important here and also the gateway is if any abnormal connection if any cyber if any hacker connection which is coming from outside of the network so then immediately the gateway work process will reject your connection gateway work process will reject your connection here if you are the valid ip valid person then only the gateway work process will allow your connection inside of the sap system we can work it out here so that is the gateway here if the gateway is closed in in case if in your home your gateway is closed what will happen no one will come inside of the server right no one will come into the inside of the your home right so that is the one if the gate gate is open then everybody will come inside of the home right same as like here in the transaction code smgw is the transaction code for the gateway here you can go for the smgw here you can check the the status of the your gateway so are there any connections are alive so you can see the connections if we go to the logged on clients how many connections we have so currently i logged in with the windows here this is the my local application server this is the my ip my connection is okay sometimes i am only one person i logged in that's why it's showing the connection is okay sometimes n number of connections will connect to the system that time so you have the so more connections will populate in this screen here more connections will come into the this screen here so here we can check whether the connectivity is okay or not sometimes what happens connection not okay which means those connections are rejecting gateway connection gateway is rejecting that connection then we can select that connection then we can delete that connection also we can delete that connection we can also delete that connection here is possible to delete that connection here so delete the client here we can delete that connection so some in any case in any case while you are monitoring this is one of the daily monitoring activity so by default it will perform the the basic checks it will perform it it will allow the connections to the inside of system it will allow only valid connections inside of the system so here how many connections it will allow 2000 connections maximum it will allow if the 2001 connection is coming immediately the gateway work process will reject your connection which means you are you will not allowed even though you are authorized person you will not be allowed what because 
the house capacity is only 2000 only if the 2000 is crossed it will not allow then we can increase it we can increase the connections limit here right so here also we can increase it so here also we can increase it the limitation we can increase it here the connections related information everything we can monitor it here the external connections which are connecting to the your sap system here we can monitor it here in this way we can check it out how many connections are coming to the inside of the your sap system all the information gateway so all the information we can track it here here we don't have any external connections right that's why it's not showing anything here but we have the logged on clients and remote connections we have logged on clients and remote connections all we have remote connections means which we are logged in here so this connection we have here that's why it's showing the connection is okay so but in any case connection is not okay or something goes wrong here then we can cancel the session here we can delete the session here that is what we can we can delete the client here that is what we can do it from here okay so that is the <clears throat> delete connections table here that is the connection table here okay so here here we have the menu bar actually in the menu bar we can we can play with this menu bar here right how many active connections all the information we can get it out the all the details here so smw smgw is the transaction code to monitor the so incoming sessions means in, to monitor the active connections active connections which are coming to your home which are coming coming to your home those connections we can monitor coming to the server those connections we can monitor it here in any case if any connection is not okay the status we can delete that connection here we have the menu go to and so we can select the connecting then we can delete the connection here we can delete the connection here select the connection we can delete the connection here so that that connection will be deleted so that that connection will be deleted here so that is what the gateway monitoring here so some companies what they will do they will put the more security some companies they will go for the more security more security they will arrange it sometimes like so more security means they will go for the external uh, expert functions external security go to expert functions then external security go to the maintain acl files so this is the very dangerous activity this is the very dangerous activity which we can perform it here this is the very dangerous activity we can perform it here so this is a very dangerous activity so we can so we can perform it in the system here so what is mean by here dangerous activity means so if you want to allow all the users what is the host and so it is a typical dangerous activity which means more user level you are testing in your even though your user is logged into the system then if you put like something like so tp tp means what is the user host details some users they have the host details like my com company dot company star company one company two company three like that they will have the host name computer name you want to allow only that users then you can put the company star some users they have the hcl star some users they have the tp star some users they have the so something the host name suppose suppose if you see our host names like yeah, sap windows all sap windows we have the all the host names so i want to allow only sap windows connections then i can type like only sap windows star i put like so if any connection those are the permitted if any connection inside of the coming if you put like sap star only it will allow only sap star connections sap windows star connections so if i put this one suppose if i am logging with the other other connection some ip or some other external then it won't allow you to log into the sap system why because you are here there is some restriction gateway restrictions they have mentioned here t means permit d means deny so we put like instead of p and d deny means the all the connections which are coming from the tp star tp star it will be rejected means sap windows star it will be rejected tp means your operating system your ip all those things user means i want to allow only your user like suppose like i will i will create your users like sap basis december list december then ravi sap basis december then so pawan 
SAP business, like that I have created your users, right? Suppose like example, I have created, then I want to allow only your users, then I will put the star here. Then system will allow only your users only, like who are there with the username like SAP basis, December 1, December 2, December 3. So those people will only log into the your systems here. Means, so you are restricting, more restrictions you are giving in the system. So this is the very dangerous activity. We need to review the settings and everything here. We are not sure how the users will log into the systems. There are the multiple cities, multiple countries, multiple ways of business, and they will log into the, our systems. If you put more restrictions here, what will happen? All the connections will be rejected here. All the connections will be rejected. That's why, so we should not touch this one. You can ignore it for now. Okay. You can ignore it for this gateway settings here. Why? Because it's a very dangerous activity. Very dangerous activity here. So that's why it's a very dangerous activity. So that's one. Right. So that is the very important here. Right. So that is the <clears throat> one of the important thing here. So we should remember here one of the important thing here. Right. So one more thing here. If as part of your daily monitoring, you can only remember like SMGW is for the gateway connections. So gateway work process will allow only valid connections. And if something wrong with the connection, we can delete the connections itself. Suppose the connection is not valid, connection is not okay, which are older than 24 hours connection, then we can select the connection, then we can delete it. We can delete the connection. Why? Because it does not require that connection. It does not require connection. Why? Because this is my connection only. My connection, I am only deleting. Then how it will be allow? It won't allow, right? That's why reason. So it says the connection is okay. Then connection is not okay connections. We can delete it. Not the okay connections here. So here we can monitor the, the gateway related. So connections, we can allow it here. Sometimes what will happen scenario, sometimes new users will not able to log into the SAP system. Existing users, they are working on the system new users are unable to log in. In that case, why new users are unable to log in? In your house capacity is the 2000, 2001 connection is coming, but that connection is not allowing. Why? What could be the reason? Anyone can think what could be the reason here? Why new users are unable to log into the SAP system? Why new users are unable to log into the SAP systems? So this is because of the, this is because of the, this is because of the, so your uh, gateway limit is over, your gateway connection limit is over. So then the maximum capacity is 2000 limit here. So the limit is over. That's the reason you are unable to log into the system. The new users are unable to log in. In out of this 2000, any one connection is free then you can able to log into the your SAP system. So it's not free, then you are unable to log into the system. That is the, the main thing of the your connection settings here. Okay, so that is the main thing here. Okay, got it? Any questions, anyone? Just to rem gateway is only for the gateway work process to allow the connections inside of the server, it will allow. So now if I am log, trying to log into your system, it won't allow. I can log in, but if I enter the user ID and password, so it won't allow you inside of the system. It won't, it will reset the connections gateway. Why? Because so your gateway is validating your connections. If you put more security settings here, if you put more security settings here, it will, it won't allow you system here. If you put more security settings here, if you go to the expert functions, then external security, like if you put the more instead of star 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 here it's the star star means it will allow the all the connections so if you put the some kind of some recommend some comments here then it won't allow you to log into the system okay that is a more security features here so our business is everybody to have to log in and do sometimes a business is more restrictions that kind of customers they can go with the so here their kind of customers they can go for this one I will tell you one, is it clear, right? Gateway work process. If it is okay, what is the, what is the impact 
you will get it here. What is the impact? Why we have to restrict the gateway? Which means in your SAP system, suppose this is the banking server. In your banking server, here we have the bank accounts, data, financial data, company data, everything is there. Customers, so purchase orders, everything is there. Suppose if a gateway security gateway is not good, then everybody can come to their home. They can see the, they can view the data. They can tip the data. They can tip the data. They can do whatever they want, right? So that is what here it happens. That's why the security, the server level, the gateway restrictions are very important here. Gateway restrictions are very important here. So in that case, we can put it out here. So if it is clear, no questions, I will stop the recording. Then we can practice this one. I will explain one example here. Okay.